Hello, welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, Series 2, Episode 39. Wow. wow. 39. 39. Yeah. Today, I'm joined by Ryan Locke. Hey. He just clapped himself hey. in the eye. Ryan. Can't get rid of him. Ryan. What's up with him? Can't get rid of him. Oh, can't get out. What? Adam? Just weakened. Are you saying you're trapped in... Trapped no, in no, no, no. There's in something in my eye. Oh. Just What's up with you? Just a bit of dust or... What are you, are you upset? You're crying. He's having eye? a Tracy yeah, Beaker right. moment. All right. Flick some water in your eye. That's okay. I think it's gone. Are you going to do that to me? All right, it's gone. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. It's I don't my, think it's you'd my ever hay get fever. For what? In the dumping ground. Oh, yeah. No. Well, he doesn't need to because his mum's a superstar and she'll come pick him up. Yeah. Some Shags him. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm also joined by it's Joe McGrath. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> Joe. And C. Jimmy G. Howdy. He's uh, served his ban. And uh, he's back. No, ban. <laughs> uh, Max is now on his ban. Uh, he's in the corner. Oh, boo. Do so, you say something, Max? Boo, oh, kaki. <laughs> it's a classic. It's not a classic. Uh, Cameron, what have you been up to? I'm working. Yeah. Working an awful lot. Is it, is it an awful lot or a good lot? Uh, it's just it just happens to you, you know. You just sort of sit there and let it happen, let you the work happen. Done? No, why do they look good? Why? They look bigger. Do they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah just, they're quite yeah, shiny. I don't know if I was just like I was I'm, looking at them as you were talking as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've unlocked a new level of sexiness just by being myself. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for the constant <laughs> upgrades. Did you put anything on them? No, no, just your ma. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 you're you're bad now, mate. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go near her. Yeah, not that. Uh, <laughs> is that more offensive? <laughs> you're probably, sorry, Ryan. What have you been doing? Um, God, well, I've just been very busy at TGI Fridays. Yeah, no, um, it's not a brand new. Yeah, no, 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 it's not. No. You told me something um, interesting and, the other day. Yes, yes, and because I've been so busy, I, I wanted to leave. Uh, so I was looking at jobs, and I saw this. Um, th- there was this Salford Theatre Company doing a production of Aladdin. No, and, uh, I applied for the genie, auditioned for the genie. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, oh, will you just read and sing for Aladdin? So I did Aladdin, sung a whole new world. Oh, <laughs> which was too... You sang a whole new world? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can yeah, you yeah. sing? Did that uh, a little bit. And then, a little bit now? Uh, it was okay. No, no, How maybe one day. It's a whole new It's a new whole new anyway, world. Anyway, I got it yesterday. You got Found Aladdin? Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're Aladdin! Yeah. Bits. Turned it down this morning. What? Um, Why? <laughs> I didn't want to do it. It was in schools again. Oh. oh. And it's like there, three That's three not weeks. Broadway. Same <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Three so weeks. It's three weeks and... Yeah. Northwest End. You got the wrong I mean, Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't want Aladdin. You can just imagine him covered in blue paint dressed as the genie and never to sing Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> it won't come off. <laughs> Knowing Ryan, he'd turn up on stage with three fellas with big fucking steel drums dressed in blue. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to do all new work? <laughs> phrases. <laughs> so you're not being um, Aladdin? No, I turned it down just because I didn't... Uh, I don't know, I didn't want to miss out on the podcast. So, yeah. you know... You're not in it for the next ten weeks. Could you... Yeah, <laughs> but I wouldn't miss... <laughs> <laughs> Could you put a bit of Aladdin on for us, like on the podcast? Maybe one, one day. Maybe one put day. a bit of it on, like our own Christmas panto. Mm. That's just something you do in your own time, and you pay you Ryan for it. it. Maybe fifty quid. Maybe. Don't, oh God, don't do that. Look at him. Um, I'll do it here. What's his, what's his other hand doing? <laughs> <laughs> sure, loves it's Aladdin. Still wet. Right. Um, <laughs> <Dougie Dougie. laughs> Shit. Uh, Shit. Help, help, help. Uh, can you Joe, not, I forgot. I need to ask you. Oh, sorry, Ken, go on. So then, can you not give us, like, uh, just a couple of lines from Aladdin that you remember? Uh, I, I don't remember any of the what lines. What you do? It was, it, I can only I remember mean, the song, but I don't want to do the song. It's fine, go Ryan. <clears throat> don't be peer pressured. Go on. I'll just break out into the song at some point. Okay. I'm Look fully to convinced that. that when you turned up, the casting directors look suspiciously like maybe Steve with... <laughs> Long hair and glasses, <laughs> and then maybe there was a janitor at the back in full gym shark attire. Like, uh. Uh, I thought maybe. of a thought of a joke, Matt. Grim shark. Well, that'll be an insult one day. Yeah. Grim, Grim shark. shark. Oh, I'll have to tell you. Scary shark. I found a film called Sharks oh. of the Corn. 
and Max would fucking love it. It's like 1.4 stars out of 10 on IMDb. And it's all these like country hicks in this like uh, little small town. Do you know and what? Uh, we don't hear about cinema I'll... and shit like that. This is a fun podcast. And that's for lads. one scene. Said... It's like this guy getting arrested. Joe, you've been DJing at the traffic no! centre. Tell us about it, please. It was interesting. I want to know what happened. I DJed in the food court. Um, you were hungover, weren't we you? Yeah, hungover to f- uh, absolutely well hungover, uh, and it was an eight hour set. <laughs> <laughs> Food court. Eight hours. Right, eight hours set. I definitely prepared one hour. <laughs> you know what's coming now? And because um, I, I, I've been doing some stuff for uh, Radio Manchester, which is a local BBC station. They've let you back in the radio? They have let me. What? Fingers crossed I've done anything wrong this time. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I have to do some training about... Um, about time, yeah. Yeah. And one of them is about... This like, is the on switch for the mics. <laughs> one of them is about security passwords and stuff like that and what happens is with fraud. Right. So I was when I was doing my DJ and I thought I'll just do that at the same time um, because because <laughs> I just put like a little playlist of like tunes together I love yeah. when Calvin Harris does that yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes PPI yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Then, yeah, that's wrong. but then what I didn't realise oh, is, is that, that Janet <laughs> still an old put your hands in the air if you can yeah. do my taxes <laughs> just using the old music to DJ <laughs> uh, but then I didn't realise um I landed on a page and I started reading, but below it was a video that automatically started playing, right. and I didn't have my uh, that on my on mute. So then uh, across the job center it was like fraud, and like all you get it was <laughs> how to set your BBC password. And when people were queuing for Nando's, were all looking at me. I was like, oh, shit. But um, like, it was so long. It was yeah. Yeah, it was all. Yeah. It was good. It was, Wow. Eight hours is a very long time. So long. Yeah. And I don't think I had eight hours worth of music, so everyone got the same songs again. Well, no, who, no one's in there apart from the staff for eight hours. No one knows. But they all there. know. Who's in, who's in Spud You Like for, you know? Spud You Like for what? Bad cue for Spud You Like. James Martin stuck over it. Do you know that? Never never really something I'd, I'd go for. No, I think the only reason people were going for it because it was the, the slowest queue in the Traffic Centre. Mm. The KFC... The slowest queue. That, oh, that was people wait. intentionally. I want to wait. I want to wait more from the <laughs> DJ. Yeah. Yeah. The quickest. Five queue, minutes sorry. more. They'll make it read his password out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you. <laughs> we can actually be be stay here. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing the manscape, Dad. Come on, let's <laughs> <that's wrong>. get <laughs> ready for the drop. <laughs> yeah, it's his quickest queue. There's no one was there. But yeah, Jefferson. They put me for any shopping centre DJs. Absolutely. Need. I finished the the Netflix series. All done. Whee! All finished. Oh, well done. Oh, cool. Got a little bit of whiplash. Um, oh, really? Got, yeah, got it three times over. Max was there for that one. Whiplash? Did you get whiplash, Max? Uh, just by Stephen's incredible performance. Nice. He's blown, blown back, yeah. Blown back. Uh, yeah, definitely got whiplash. So I couldn't, How I couldn't quick were you head. going? Very quick. You'll see it, you'll see it one day. Uh, yeah, like crashed. And... It was for an explosions episode. That's right. all I can say. Mm-hmm. This is a bit of a film trivia, like... Yeah. Uh, the, the, the stunt performer... Uh, one of them was uh, Charles Jarman. I looked at his IMDb and it said The Dark Knight. I was like, ooh. ooh. So I, uh, I went to him and, hey, Charles, uh, what yeah. did you do in The Dark Knight? And he said, you know the uh, the disappearing pencil trick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was the guy Heath Ledger. No uh, way. Into the table, That's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it? He, he, said he turns he, up with his eye patch on set. <laughs> Yeah, I, I suffer from my heart. <laughs> you just a little rubber on the HB. It's for it. And uh, he said he got knocked out three times by, by Heath Ledger doing that. Yeah. Which fuck me. Like he really got knocked it. him unconscious because he was g- getting slammed into a table. And it took two days to film. Shit. <laughs> That's oh, not what you want. Shit. Wow. Yeah. Did he mention what Heath Ledger was like? Did he, say? he said he, he said he broke character when he knocked him out the first time because he was like, oh, oh crumbs. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, hell. It's uh, very impressive. I went, that's cute, mate. I was on the lab bible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except for, it wasn't the pencil that disappeared. It was <laughs> my career. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I loved, I think two episodes right now, but we loved the first one. First one's out on fire. Second episode isn't out. Well, yeah, I was, was going to ask you. Yeah. What, what are you pressuring? By the time this goes out, <clears throat> oh, so it's a month. Every Friday. No, no, so it might be every other one. Oh. So by oh, by monthly. Uh, that one's that one's good when you see what I do. Sunday, I did. Uh, it was called the Last Dance, and it was uh, have a words. Uh, Dan Nightingale was doing his last ever beat the frog. Annabelle told me you were doing that. Yeah. yeah. So I said I'd do it, mm. and then I said actually I won't because I've got no stand up, and then. On the day, I thought, oh, I could do it. So I wrote a roast of Dan, who was uh, who was there. 
obviously. <laughs> and um, I got through the five minutes. If you don't know Beat the Frog, uh, yeah. basically you have five minutes to try and get through and three members of the audience have a red card. If they don't like you, stick the red yeah. card up. All oh. three, you're off, baby. So you just have to last the five. I had about, when I ran through it, I had two minutes of material. So I was like, I'm not going to last. Mm. Uh, I somehow got, I ran out, w- went through all my jokes and then I went, um, so we've got time for, and I uh, <laughs> said, uh, Dan, did I mention you're fat? And then, and then the time went yeah, off. I was like, oh, thank off. God. Uh, so I, uh, <laughs> I made it through amazingly. But <sighs> still so nervous. Um, it was very funny. I yeah. think the, uh, and then after you did it, there was like a section of like proper comics Wow! No, no, no! Is it like people? Wow! And like not, not one of them did the five minutes after stay. Nando's all new got, comedian all of the got year. buzzed off after oh, really? stay. Yeah, all got buzzed off after stay. Don't follow me. Don't follow that to stay. many a stranger. Mm. Uh, anyway, we went out after uh, afterwards. Mm. Uh, if you've never been out with Joe, I'll just do an impression of it. Jaeger bombs! Jaeger bombs! <laughs> Jaeger bombs! <laughs> Fucking yeah, but I wanted a Jaeger bomb. I didn't. Yeah, yeah I'm giving you yours. It up. Like, yeah, you gotta give me two. Um, the trick there is take a pencil out here because you know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Stab Stab it in neck. <laughs> what happened? You had too many Jaeger bombs, Joe. <laughs> You're fucking joking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play pool with Jaeger bombs inside you. I was so bad. Yeah, opposed to your usual athletic performance. I'm really good at Where are you putting him? <laughs> no, <laughs> fucking hell! I, I can't sit down. Yeah. All he, all I'm he bad was on my legs, <laughs> shouting Jaeger bombs going. Oh, that to, to different men. I said bombs, bombs, <laughs> Jaeger bombs, Jaeger bombs. Fucking hell! I love a Jaeger bomb. Terrible. Man. I also did. Uh, so whilst I was in London last week, I did the uh, the What's Good podcast, and uh, I said uh, with Randolph and Minnie Mint, if you don't know them, yeah. uh, and they have this whole office space in London, very big. Uh, and they had a really cool set and I was like wow this is it you know it's not some <laughs> weird fucking library that we have Joe Free leave it books, alone sorry. god I don't trust you um, but that was fun uh, what did you chat about a lot of different stuff um, but when they asked me these spontaneous questions I had, I had nothing it was like what's the what's the most interesting fact you know well I just said honey badgers and <laughs> didn't finish it <laughs> <laughs> honey badgers are weird though aren't they yeah, yeah a bit like yeah. you Ryan anyway uh so the other day I was um, charging these camera batteries and I pulled my hand away and I knocked over this Betty Boop statue, uh, little little figurine um, that belonged to uh, a member of Zoe's family and uh, she'd sort of inherited it, you know, kinky family. Um, and it, it fell off the side and it smashed. I was like, oh, shit, shitty buggers. Um, and I was thinking, what's the... Uh, What's the worst thing you've broken? I, um, <laughs> when I was first, you know, getting down with it sexually. You know, when I was... If only Labradors could take out snapper. injunctions, we'd never know what's <laughs> coming here. <laughs> you know, it can be awkward in the first moments, can't it? Yeah, what you, didn't happen. because you have to you have to let them sniff your hand first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we're on now. <laughs> and I remember, I remember, <laughs> you know, moving around, fumbling around <laughs> with a, with a, you know, with a lady. Right, um, and a bitch. Actually, yeah, as, as I'm trying lady to keep it, Trump. as I'm trying to keep it. You <laughs> <laughs> said, "Lady of the Trump." He said, "He said, champ, Joe." Keep champ. going, mate. <laughs> as I'm trying to keep it cool, I accidentally uh, kick my. Um, I've got a framed United <laughs> poster in yeah. no, like the United shirt from 2008, where Tevez has signed it and all that. Ronaldo, do you know, oh, right. the double. So it's hanging. That's not the wall. detail we want, mate. And what I've done is I've tried to keep it like sexy. You know, I'm only 17. Stone. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. Very close to the truth. Um, I think it might be 18 now. And I, what I've done is I've, I've accidentally I've got down the bed to sort of do, get something, and then I've. I've what were you smashed, getting in the bed? I've smashed my foot through the glass that, that sort of protects the shirt. Oh, yeah, I've got oh, all wow. cuts on my leg now as well. Oh, the shit. moment's ruined. It was one of our first like sort of you know nights together, and I've just sort of ruined everything. Yeah, glass all over the bed. Mm. I mean, you say she can't have been a fussy woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Spud, you didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> That is one of one of the worst things I've broken. Here's Robbie Williams. Can I get a r- 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 rewind? Um, Ryan, uh, I think for me, um, when I was younger, my brother spent ages making all these um, 
like he was obsessed with lego yeah and he built all this lego stuff and it was only on like a small table um and i just i just booted the table uh, yeah. by accident by accident your mouth. <laughs> and fuck it all just <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we're fucking <sighs> Uh, but oh, it went everywhere tape. and he was crying and you know oh. I felt quite bad how old is he? I don't know he's 40 <laughs> years younger than me I don't, I don't know what age I was but I remember feeling really guilty yeah was it an accident? Uh, it was an accident there you go it was an accident but yeah, he made like, like his whole house it might have been Bionicles actually did you do the same mm, with Tom's Christmas Bionicles. Village and he was crying <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bring that back for 2021 yeah, I think, I think he already, he's already has, yeah, 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 he really yeah. has. <laughs> usually late September he starts, yeah. <laughs> starts making the snow out of cotton wool <laughs> oh. yes he does yeah. uh, what about you Cam uh, we're on holiday um, me and my mum sister and my dad I think <laughs> my nan and granddad were there as well we'd already had uh, trouble on this holiday because I was a very fussy eater and one night just decided to have a peach and my dad was like kicking off like you saying about you know there's all this food to eat have something else peach. and have peach. I just had a peach <laughs> so then um, my dad got really pissed off and like walked off and my granddad went after him and um, <laughs> my uncle's mate that was there because my granddad's called James went look it's James and the giant peach <laughs> so we were all you know it all kicked off before he had this um, hard drive Oh wow. And uh, it had loads of films he downloaded that were like, um, not dirty. Dirty films. <laughs> not dirty, Max. Um, they were like, you know, blockbuster films. There was like thousands of films on there. So we'd just plug it in to the telly in the room and watch all these films. It was his birthday this one day and me and my sister were fighting. <laughs> And we smashed this hard drive and oh. fell off. So this 40-year-old man on his birthday <laughs> comes into the room just goes... <gasps> and he see his heart break oh, and me and my sister were like, oh, we're sorry, Dad, we're sorry. And he went... And just walked off and left the room. And my mum was like, you've ruined his birthday. This is the same day as the peach. No, this is a couple of days after the so, peach. Right, so we'd, gonna... ju we'd just got over that hurdle. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it was like three three holidays after that. He next spoke to me and my sister for three years after we were just in He's silence. Fart, you know? Joe. I'm just doing like a little lean to get close. To no, you're up to something. I'm not up to something. Behave. Sorry, Ka. It's all right. The story's finished now, but after, I did feel really bad yeah. for that as well. Doing that, but it was an accident. <coughs> that yeah, feeling. Yeah. That feeling is horrible. Yeah, when yeah. In your heart, no, I felt bad. Yeah. Uh, it's now time for a juicy, lovely little ad read. Yeah. Going for this. Yeah. Ho, 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 gentlemen. The holidays came early here at Manscaped, the leading men's hygiene brand. Oh, hygiene now. Oh, so not... Yeah, just your pubes. Manscaped just launched new products, including their all-new ultra-premium body wash and a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Nice. It's time to give yourself the gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this holiday season. Good Go change. <laughs> Go to <laughs> manscaped.com and use code STP for 20% off and free shipping. Hold on to your hats. Could say helmets, that would have been sexy yeah. and more applicable to this. You're circumcised, aren't you? No. I my swear dad, you are. My dad is. Oh. How do you know that? <laughs> what? How do you know that? I don't know, my dad's circumcised. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Because I remember growing up, I was like, oh. I broke his yeah. foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job you like United, Dad. Can we try again tomorrow? You'll have to take me to A&E, I'm full of glass. <laughs> Uh, it's time to leave your significant other some cookies and milk at the bottom of your chimney. <laughs> I'm talking about the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Inside the Performance Package 4.0, you'll find the signature lawnmower. This electric trimmer has proprietary advanced skin safe technology to reduce cuts on your nuts. There you go, hey, Joe. Yeah. Where were you six or nine years ago? It also, it's also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. Wouldn't you love that, Ryan? You know, yeah. Christmas Eve, yeah. having your shower, shaving your pubes, thinking, when I wear nothing else but my dressing gown tomorrow morning, my parents are going to see my cock and be impressed. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. If they're going to see my cock, they might as well be impressed. Yeah, brother won't be crying that time. He'll go, hey, bro, smooth sack. <laughs> they also just launched their new two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Get on this, yeah. With benefits that include hydrating, nourishing, conditioning the scalp, and strengthening your hair at the same time. Wow. Pardon me. Tis the season to load up on Manscaped products. So get yourself, your dad, your brother, and friends the best gift of all, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code STB at manscaped.com. Oh. Clean up your nuts and make Santa proud this year. What is these final lines? No, Santa's no. the expert on sacks, isn't he? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone's yeah. got to know true. it's going to be in. Yeah. It's now time for some news. News. 
Jones. <laughs> Crazy. David Perry. Uh, he looked a terrorist in his cab before a bomb went off outside Liverpool Women's Hospital. Yeah. Legend. Hold on, David. Have you seen the video? I have. It's uh, it's crazy that. It's crazy of it. It does look like something from Four Lions though, because it's yeah. it's it's a big explosion, but it's sort of contained in the car, isn't it? It's yeah. it's very weird. Because so, yeah. I've seen I've seen cab drivers when you know people are about to throw up. Oh, they yeah. lose the shit. Yeah. They've got no composure. He's he's found someone who's gonna detonate a bomb, he's like, and he's locked them in. That's mad. Yeah. Well, I, I read in the comments underneath that if he's an Evertonian, he's been through worse. <laughs> I read that and thought, there, there you go. He yeah. gets out and he just seems unfazed and walks off. If, if he's a Liverpool fan, he's been through worse because they don't spend enough. Am I right, guys? He's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet he's, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's going to be. It's going to be a crazy time for him. Hopefully, he comes through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be a crazy time, Joe. You don't yeah. say. No, just survived a fucking terrorist attack. Yeah. It's going to be a mad time for him. He saved, t- you'd think, lives? innumerable lives there. Cause yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say if anything goes wrong in that women's hospital, like they have a power cut or something. Think of all the lives that could have been lost because people even, can't do even the essential scare, jobs. It's such a, you know, a, you've got to be so careful around pregnancy and all that. Oh, yeah. my what God, a, yeah, what a of stupid fucking terrorist, yeah? Mm. But what a hero Mr. Perry is. Well done, Perry. Well done, Perry. I doubt the terrorist had paid. You know? Oh, maybe that's why Especially in black shit, cabs, yeah. you don't pay before. Maybe that's you why you locked get... him in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to take us to cars. You fucking what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the UK is set to go to war with Russia. Brilliant. Here's, here's my question. If we all went to war, mm-hmm. who would be the last to get picked? For war? Yeah. It's not like five aside. It they're is not, a bit like they're not just a strike team to take like down Hasbro and Russia. Khabib. We'd go. Yes, yeah, Joe, isn't it? No, oh, I'm last pretty good. I'm You're pretty good. fucking yeah. useless. I'm pretty good. If me, and, if well, let's just say we what was, theme tune are we putting like on for the spy mission? You are the clumsiest person ever. You are you are killing at least five people. <laughs> yeah, the on enemy. the road. No, <laughs> I'd kill you I've instantly. Got, I've I would just straight I, away. Straight away. You know what, the t- Stephen <laughs> Stephen right saved millions of lives no, by I'll shooting right. Joe McGraw right, in the head. Shit, I'd be alright. You be shit. I. You get so annoyed by other people. Oh. Max, wasn't Colin. I a brave boy? So brave. Well, see, I just got on with it. Yeah, he's done. I was doing stunts. What, in wars, and shit. <laughs> can I just? You know, in films where they see like a sniper glare. Yeah. Can just be Ryan's fault. <laughs> <laughs> see, he died. Oh, yeah. Sniper's dream. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. just as fucking Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard <laughs> <you. laughs> Shut up! It's now time for a segment which may not work because. Set in the corner. Max's football round. Yeah, 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 it's Max's football roundup. Last week we spoke about Norwich and Aston Villa losing the managers. Max, who did you say to take over? Romeo and Brooklyn Beckham. They didn't, and it was Steven Gerrard and yeah. Dean Smith. <laughs> you got that wrong. Max's football round. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a bloody good segment. This one's even better. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Except it's not loony, it's Locky. Yeah, Locky. it's right, Locky. Celebrity gossip. Get him, Locky. Yeah, what? Uh, oh, right. Uh, so Kourtney Kardashian straddled and smooched her fiance Travis Barker while pals cheered them on in a very raunchy PDA session. Mm-hmm. Tell me more, Ryan. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? Um, the... <laughs> Did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Um, I want to start a new segment, which obviously we can't do this week because I've just started it. But uh, I've seen other segments go, oh, uh, if you've met any footballers, tell us about that. Boring. I want to hear any celebrity uh, encounters you've had. I'd love to know. Uh, I think we discussed it on the podcast, you know, people we've met for the Fame podcast. But uh, if you viewers at home have any interesting celebrity encounters, I'd love to hear it. If you can beat Dave Meat and Warwick Davis on holiday, um, that would be the dream, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> I guarantee Dave went over with his armbands. Do you want to use these, mate? Uh, take you down the deep end. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, uh, that'll be a new segment. And uh, hopefully it'll... Yeah, don't just make stuff up. Don't be like, oh, oh wanked off Dean Gaffney or something. Um, <laughs> Dean Spaffney? <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, well done, mate. If you have, though, that would be a good story. Yeah. 
I fingered him. <laughs> um, I want some reliable sauce. Max, give me a sauce. Sriracha. Done it before, dickhead. Worcestershire. Done it before. Am I? Stupid knobhead. Oh, I've got one for this, he says. Pathetic. You're fired. Mayo. No, forget it. Garlic. Teriyaki. Done it. Does no one listen to this podcast? Well, I know we don't, but... What about... You got another sauce? Green tomato. What a... Stupid. Just give us a, a proper sauce. Mustard. Done it. Come on. Come on, we've done mustard. There's lots of different kinds Fucking of mustard. Hell. Brown. Handy. Creamy. Oh, stupid bellend. Not your band. No, You're you don't, you don't pastors, ever tell me what goes You're on in the podcast. You, you said three words then. It's my favourite. We've done our bit. I'm the last one to go and I did it. So what? You're banned for the rest of the year now. No more reliable sauce, yeah? <laughs> and cranberries coming up as well. Can you no, actually eat white sauce on anything other than just... Like, lasagna, it's lasagna, pasta. yeah. Yeah, you just stick so it it's in. It's one of the lays in lasagna. Well, I heard of Tosh, that is it? Yeah, you stupid prick. Stupid it's fucking handy, gym shop you know. prick. <laughs> I like white sauce. <laughs> anyway, that was reliable sauce. Really good fun there. Best segment is. It was. It was good. You know, we did it properly. <sighs> handy. Handy. Oh, white sauce, handy. handy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I meant is, that. Is that why you two set that up? Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's a real producer, Joe. Producer or something. Ooh. Oh, producer. Oh, 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 um, Matt was looking for something to do, looked down at his hands and went. Mm. It'd be weird if he started one. Let's slag off a podcast. Yeah, get him, ah. Steve. This is the What's Good podcast. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> Not that podcast. Said that. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you? When did you say it? No, forget, oh, forget this. Forget What's this. great? Did that this pictures podcast. podcast is getting it again. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I had to make your thumbnail because it was so shit, Joe. Let's have a glare on it. Let's put a glare effect so we can't see Max. I just thank you for making the thumbnail. I do mind it. That means you're part yeah. of the podcast. Cam didn't now. thank me for it. I didn't know you'd sent done it. Sent it to so. you. Yeah. Sent it to you. Messaged it and sent you, it to you. You sent it to me. Yeah. Did you? Do you know what? I wasn't oh, going to do this, Cam. I wasn't going to do this, but... Uh, Get him, I'm going to fucking expose you. <laughs> <laughs> this happened this week. Yeah, all right. Hey, Cam. Um, I just saw your message saying something happened during that picture podcast. I wasn't really going to say this, but I need to get it off my conscience because I've been reliving it. Yeah, go on. When we said, like, oh, cheers, Max, that's everything, he started going, no, no, like in a baby voice going, no, no, senpai. Sorry, who did? Adam, Adam Brown. What? He seemed so professional. And then he put his hands to his eyes and, like, a crying motion, we're like, wah, wah, wah. There's a problem there. Yeah, that's not ideal. Biggest fucking problem is the fool. And then he said some worse then, the fool. Who? Joe. Oh, God, what's he done now? He kept saying about big titties, big titties. Well, I told you not to wear that vest. And then he, like, spat at the camera. Yeah, he does that when he's horny. I think I might need therapy for the... I don't blame you. What's Joe doing now? He's crying into his airbrush. Well, he's certainly not using that as a comb, is he? <laughs> oh, how are you feeling about it all? You know, you live, you learn. You learn you must have been... A war criminal in a past life. Oh, come on, mate. It can't be that bad. They're shite. They're fucking shite. Hey, why are you saying that? You know, spineless, gutless, chuck them in the bin. Oh, that's a shame. What are you going to do now? I'm going to put me first. Yeah, yeah, you have to, I guess. What will you say to Joe? Get your son on, gone and fuck off to Ben's home, you fat shite. <laughs> I'm going to fuck off to Ben's home. <laughs> I can't, be expensive. I can't it's believe now. I can't believe you exposed me. I thought that was our private, our private moment. Sorry, moments. well you know, I was, I was just gonna let it slide. But oh, I thought Joe had to know. Oh. Uh, we need some talking points, Max. Holler at your boy. What is your own personal heaven? Okay, what is heaven? Uh, I'd say like a spa. You know, with maybe a roller coaster in it. Wow. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. A spa is nice because you it's an escape from the stress of daily life. If you were just constantly at the spa, it'd, it'd get boring. And you'd run no, out of towels. Think, think of the pile of towels by no, the end of the day. There is a washing machine. Yeah. yeah. Are you doing the washing? Um, no, there's going to be people there. Who? Uh, who? I'll do He's the washing. He's paying them. 
good. So that doesn't yeah. sound like heaven to me if you're just and doing washing. So yeah, I just will. Did you do I'd my washing as well, do a jacuzzi. Please. Next day, I'd just see how long I spend. A day, so one room. day's the jacuzzi, huh? Yeah, well, because you're gonna if you're there for eternity, you don't have to get bored, do you? So you'd probably Thank test you yourself. You have a router. Thank oh, God yeah, you got the you roller coaster though. Yeah, yeah. It's now yeah, everyone's relaxing the spa, then you hear Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Blackpool big one as well. Yeah. Right. So your your coaster. your idea of heaven is for you to have a jacuzzi by the Blackpool big one. Yes, please. <laughs> and a steam room. Yeah. Yeah, because you uh, you need to swap. But not more. not the steam room. <laughs> not the steam rooms in in Germany because you're not allowed uh, your discotheques on in there. As I learnt the hard way, I had to go in nude. Oh, oh, I thought you meant you were DJing. Yeah, it said no. I was like, no, it said no. Uh, discotheques when we went there. And did you worry about getting an erection? I don't know. Uh, it's just full of. Hello, nerds. I'm the Blackpool big one. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, derobed, but I had a little towel around me. Yeah, it was like one of those little towels. And I'm a big man, so you kind of could see. Oh, yeah. bits and uh, I bits spent and a bit in. So no Germany rules, just English rules. English rules. English rules. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that's your idea of heaven, please, Cam. See, I think. With with heaven, there's an episode of the Twilight Zone where there's a, like a a guy and he he ends up they sell him like you're dead and he's a criminal and he goes to heaven and while he's there, he goes and robs a bank and it's dead easy, and then he goes and <clears throat> he goes gambling, and he wins every time, and then by the end of it he's like so bored and everything he loves doing, there's no fun to it or anything, so the guy who you think is an angel turns out to be the devil and he's like this is actually hell oh. and he's saying the thing about what makes heaven or the things you enjoy so good is that you need things that are happening that are bad so you can differentiate lies Rubbish. so like Rubbish. no like say say if you say if you if ate is good then the small things would really piss you off if heaven. your favourite food was steak and then you only ever ate and then you start your whole life only ever eating steak after a week, you'd fucking ate steak. And also, well, if there was one that was slightly, bit, slightly well. not how you wanted it, you'd be like, that's a terrible steak and therefore a terrible meal. I think you get, get past, we're in heaven here, guys. You can't have the light without oh, yeah. the dark. If everything's light all the time, you wouldn't be able yeah, to tell it. So your heaven, your heaven would just be life. Would always be Matt, happy. Yeah. This, this is the thing, I don't think there really is a heaven. You know, you've got to make you've got to make your own heaven with the pe the people you love and you know the things you enjoy doing. I'd have a chocolate fountain in porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right to me. <laughs> hey, bitch, give me some flumps over just, here. <laughs> just just cut to me with a male porn star with chocolate on his knob. <laughs> oh, crumbs! <laughs> Why didn't I specify the eternity of this? <laughs> Oh, but, uh, and this chocolate is slightly less nice than a chocolate I had the other week. <laughs> Can I have chocolate fountain in mine as well, please? No, because there's too much steam. Air break. Can, am I? What was yours, Ryan? Just loved ones. Uh, maybe a big room where I could watch loads of films. Yeah, um, a big I'd room. Buy, maybe a cinema. <laughs> Your idea of heaven is a big room. Uh, what the fuck? Why don't you, you go to the about? cinema with your parents? <laughs> that seems well, to be what you're I, after. It. I don't love a there. big room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big room. Is it empty? Maybe a. No, no, it's got. I like, I could do it. I, I could, you could what? what? I could do it if I wanted it. Yeah. I didn't ever tell you the time I took Ryan to a sports hall. Yeah, he <laughs> fucking jizzed himself. <laughs> what? It's a big room. <laughs> see like, see him in Tesco and <laughs> Tesco Extra just. <laughs> Every time. It's, it's a hard close. one. Like, because I'm happy the way things are. Like, I can't, like. <laughs> Heaven, I guess, would just be maybe I would get to do loads of all the things I like. Yeah. Like, like what? Like what? Be in big just rooms. So yeah, I get in this big room, I can you know watch my films, do whatever I want. What is do whatever out, you want? Just <laughs> thing. I don't know. Cook, eat. You're gonna cook in the same room. Is there any windows in this big room? Look, 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 it's my heaven, right? Yeah, we're trying to get. And then to I the could go of outside, it. and then I could you know it'll be in the mountains somewhere, so I just go for a walk. Well, how big's this room? It's big, though. This big, room. man. It's, it's, it's a house, basically. <laughs> Wait, I, was, I was thinking bigger. I was thinking bigger. I was thinking, like, at least a hangar size yeah. space. So, no, it's it's cosy, isn't it? It's going gonna... It's gonna to be a cosy big room. <laughs> Would you want to do, like, some big acting jobs as well? Because it's your heaven, that. No. He's already said he's got Forget rolls it, coming right? out Maybe. of his ears. He's Maybe. like a baker with too much dough. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Could the big room be a stage? I can show you the world. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 
can't be doing in my big room. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like your heaven's just being a genie, mate, in yeah, a bottle. Maybe. You're made for this role. It's a big <laughs> room. Know, you want to go out well, sometime. <laughs> someone gives you a rub. You fly out. You don't give him three, three wishes. wishes. Oh. Can three, you give him three wishes? Three hand jobs. <laughs> oh, oh you are. I don't know why the... I said that. <laughs> when they say it, please. Genie be that he would give you a hand job only three times. <laughs> oh, what would your heaven be? What you keep saying that? <laughs> Definitely just pushing Joe off a cliff. Just over and over. Oh, just, <laughs> over just killing him in different ways. No, that's, that's not nice. <laughs> it would be for me. He's My heaven, mate. It's not heaven, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just drowning be... you in a spa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, just, just just getting one of the towels and just strangling him. In my head, I've got that Cure song, just like Heaven, that's really like peppy and upbeat, and it's just you like strangling it's, Joe and killing me, him. Like it's me putting a lion's mane on his head and just pushing him towards a giraffe. Show me, show me, show me how you do that. Boot him, boot him. Oh, oh. Pushing him towards a nice. giraffe. <laughs> Just winding up a giraffe and seeing Joe Boot <laughs> Pushing him into a German spa with his disco oh, tex yeah. on. <laughs> and then you see all the calamity inside. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my my heaven. Um, I like just a big festival. Yeah. There's oh, loads yeah. of toilets, I still have to queue. Oh. Loads of yeah, loads of nice food and drinks. That'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> Who's headlining? Whoever I want, mate. Not you, you fucking idiot. I'll do an eight-hour set. <laughs> I won't mind DJing between the acts. <laughs> they, they, all the acts just go straight on after each other. There's no time for you to stumble up on stage. We'll get a spudgy Knock over the stall. microphone and <laughs> just crack your head on the floor. Get a spudgy like stall and he can do the music for McFly that. plays. You're laughing? No. <laughs> Keep no him busy. Out the way. And then at the end of the day, you can set fire to it. <laughs> next question. And then you do it all again the next day. <laughs> if you could take credit for any piece of art... What would it be? Ooh. You get all the benefits for mm. making that art as well. Great. Um, Got no idea. Um, what's the um, Mount Rushmore? It's not really art. It's Mount Rushmore. It is art. It's propaganda if it's anything. I'd say it's Oh, here art. he is. Okay, no. another history <laughs> podcast, are we? <laughs> saying, you know. Why is it propaganda? Well, you go to it and have a propaganda at it, don't you? Yay! Yay! See that, see that, Ryan? Oh, That's well, called yeah. a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, just say, check it, it would be good to say you just chiseled them out in. Chiseled my mum's. <laughs> oh, it's not by your house. <laughs> Imagine that in heaven. <laughs> Open up the uh, the big window and you're yeah, just seeing that. Uh, <laughs> it's like Joe at Jackass. This is the world's biggest bukkake. Oh. <laughs> He likes it because it's big faces in it. Of course, yeah. you get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just as soon as you mention Joe Wayne, can I feel sick? Um, <laughs> and then that's the mountain you push him up. After. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the end of North. I don't think anybody's taking my answer seriously to this question. What did, did you, you say? Rushmore? Sorry, Mount Rushmore, please. Yeah, but how much money does that make? No, yeah, but I'm, it'd be, I'm not just there for the money. Right. I, you know, it's just meant. It's just a big mountain, isn't it? And you say you've chiseled oh, yeah, that. Wow. Right. No one's going to believe you did it. I, I'd probably do like a celebrity. I could, I could get on. I'm a celeb. So, based on that, based on you. Go, what, so, would you keep the same four people, or would you make a new Mount Rushmore with four different faces? Um, I'd go with. We had a, a really nice gardener when, we, when I was growing up. It was like. Didn't you say there was a paedophile that was a gardener? No, that was a guy with guns. Park. He was looking after the birds. Definitely the same person. <laughs> there you go. You know, there's the picture of the tennis player. You can't and call she's the birds got, like, anymore. Half by a the bum way. out. And yeah. everyone in the uni house or whatever of a certain age would go to HMV and buy this poster. Tom had it. <laughs> there you go. So you know at least one person I said, paid Tom, for that Tom, you're 45. Art. Turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> you took that picture. If you can get, if you can get black royalties, and white when you had it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, it's got colour. If you get royalties from that photo, yeah, then yeah. Then I'd take credit for that, but only if you can get the royalties for it. Because yeah. then you can't just sell one I'm piece of art, can you? What I'd do is uh, I'd go for the Banksy one that um, when they, when it sold at the auction, it shredded. Oh, yeah. Because then they sold it again, the shredded version. And the first one, I think, sold for around 1 million something. And then the shredded version sold for 30 million. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That is big money, that. That is. Uh, Ryan, what would... Uh, I mean, it would be any piece of art for some money. But if I could actually, like, steal... I'd just be... You know, when you go to the beach and see those blokes or people... Fuck off. Just making sand sculptures. Oh, I'd yeah. Just, I'd just be one of them. 
<laughs> That's a good skill there's to only have. One, there's only yeah. one you can claim. <laughs> Oh, there's a guy in Benidorm. Great sculpture. You ever seen there? There's some really sick ones there. That's real. Like, you know, I'm never going to see the Mona Lisa. Outside the nationwide. I did that. That's me. Yeah. You fucking idiot. It's quite good, though. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Don't they sell those for, like, 10 quid? Be waiting to see someone doing one of them, and then Ryan comes and, like, spears him, like, this was mine, you fucking thing. I spent three years making this. Oh one of those sandy dogs <laughs> Joe just buys it on Australia <laughs> he'll do nice put, put he'll do nice put hole in the back end of it with his head <laughs> <It's the Rushmore. laughs> I don't know I don't know if I want that and you go oh, oh fuck me here take it take it take it take it there any, there any crabs in this sand because there will be in a minute <laughs> 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 this, this tail will be wagging to him. I deserve a clap. I was you making sound yourself. effects. Oh, right. <laughs> no, if I can shag it, sound is a clap. Oh, I don't know. Very well, like, what was it? A bit mucky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what's your Terminator cock? Jägerbomb. Jägerbomb. Wonderly. Welcome to Dog's Thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can have that, yeah. <laughs> oh. How have we never thought that before? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, it'd be a start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've done anything. <laughs> Try before you burn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we get from him <laughs> to me. Oh, God. oh guys, it's everyone's favourite segment. Hit him with it, y'all. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. So this week on Stephen lies, it is Joe McGrath. Cam, you missed last week when uh, the item that was brought in had dog hairs all over it. Guess who's that was? <laughs> oh, one dog hair in several. <laughs> one. You not be manscaping it? Ooh, oh, kinky. It's like yeah. some some Luther shit and some Sherlock stuff. Yeah, it's me, mate. See it and then just yeah. see the dog here. You I'm can't on get it. one over on this fella. Okay, Detective McGrath, I'm taking this, I'm taking this very, very seriously. Yeah? Um, Got your shirt buttoned all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, a little to waterboard. Ooh. Oh, watch out. Yeah? Why do you think I brought this? I, I don't know. really have Hydrate no yourself. You forgot, the, you forgot the rope and Make the up for all the sweat in the chair. Cam, Cam, what is that to you? I was given... Oh, for the listeners at home. Sorry, Joe, this is a podcast. Uh, we have a little toy reindeer. Very cute. <laughs> Don't, Joe, Joe needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a detective. Can <laughs> we all have a bit of respect? Got, right, he's got four legs and it's already been stuffed, so you won't want it. <laughs> 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 uh, Cam, what is this to you? I was given that um, by an old lady at an Everton game. <laughs> Steve, what is this to you? Uh, this is something I got from a Santa's grotto. Pretty bad. Ryan, uh, it's a sex toy I nicked from your room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, come on, sorry, sorry, yes, you know no, it is. No, it's not. Uh, it's a Christmas decoration that I bought from a shop. That's fucking boring, isn't it? That is fucking boring. Right, what shop? Well, the actual what story. Uh, I can't remember what it was what called. You <laughs> what do you mean you can't remember what uh, it was called? So, full story. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. No. Basically, shop. Can you stop we buying in, time, please? We were in Salford Keys, uh, and we went into the shop, and basically, I was chatting the way to Erin, uh, and I turned around, and on the shelf level was this reindeer, and um, I just burst out laughing <laughs> in the shop. Yeah. Let's, and, see, uh, let's, see, let's see how that looks. Ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, Erin, have a, and I went, Erin, have a look at this. She's got one key on. And, um, and I looked, you? and it wasn't Erin. It was this uh, It was this older lady. Yeah. So then you saw bought me laughing that. at then this. You bought that. And we how were much? Both, we were both laughing. Uh, I think it was like a fiver. Okay. In Salford Keys. Yeah, yeah. So were you actually ever talking to Erin, or was it always this old lady? Uh, I was, and then when I turned around and started laughing at that, and then it was this uh, elderly <laughs> lady. And we were both laughing at it for a bit, and I was like, sorry. You had to be there, really. It was very funny. Yeah, it was very funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Stee, yeah, what's man. this again? Sorry. Uh, this is something I got from a Christmas grotto. Okay, where was the grotto? John Lewis in Liverpool. So in Liverpool, John Lewis, there was a Santa in there? Santa's grotto on one of the floors. Uh, it was me, my dad and my sister okay. many years ago. I must have been nine or ten. Mm-hmm. Um, the queue was massive. Yeah. Uh, it took, God, I'd say at least an hour to an get hour? there. It's a long queue in uh-huh. John Lewis. And you can't you can't do anything else apart from look down this alley. It's a bit like an airport, you know, when you uh, yeah get to the book. Was he uh, a good Santa? Did you believe him? Yeah, he was really good. Wow, fair play. Wow, well, hey. Cam? Mm-hmm. What's this again, sorry? I was giving it by an old lady at an Everton game. Okay. What it was, was the game? It was a Christmas game against Leicester. And, uh, Should this be a ago. donkey if it was the Everton yeah, game? Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Say it again, yeah, but I won't stumble. Little donkey. Well, I say Leicester now. It might have actually been Wolverhampton. You forget. Anyway, that was a Christmas game, Pretty and uh, a couple of the fan groups were saying it would be a nice idea for people to bring in like uh, Christmas ornaments and yeah. stuff, so you could go to the game and then do a little swap, and then you uh, you'd always remember you had a nice little ornament from a game, a little yeah. souvenir. Same as Coleman's an ornament, the way he stands still, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> fucking have Ronaldo in his pocket in the uh, Eddie, yeah. Ireland game the other day, Ireland versus Portugal, so what are you going to do? Must be when he puts blue on then. <laughs> Must be when he puts blue on. <laughs> right, you're not paying attention. Sorry, go on. So um, the fan group said it'd be nice for people to start swapping ornaments, and I that's a nice idea. So I got a little... Um, Both of them did. Uh, <laughs> I got a little elf with, like, Small club. Uh, Everton on. Like, yeah. he had a little Everton hat, little blue Everton hat and this. And I took that, and then I was sat next to this old lady and her son, or grandson, her be. And uh, we were talking throughout the whole game, and towards the end of the game... You should be watching the football, mate. Yeah. Well, we got... He's boring, all the football, with Everton on. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, at, we... least, uh, at least they lose 5-0. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, I don't need to tell you this part of the story, don't you know? But uh, towards the end of the game, we were like, yeah, yeah, and started like so, hugging. Yeah. And then uh, we kissed on the lips, me and this old lady. Just, just, you know, I don't, I don't ah, even like ah. you holding and, it. Um, and the, her grandson like looked at me like, because he thought, you know, I was pinching his nan. And um, I was on a bum. Anyway, uh, in the end, we, we swapped. I was like, oh, I've done this thing. And she was like, well, I've done this thing. So we swapped and she got a little Everton elf. She actually gave me this Everton unbranded thing of a bob. She's got a red nose. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So just quick yeah. one again. What year was yours? What year did, was this happened? It would have been 2004. Good off. Touch it. 2004. I don't like you touching it. Uh, right, when was yours? Uh, 2021, a couple of weeks ago. 2021, <laughs> it happened a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> That's the load of shit. <laughs> that was not right in 2020. What? 2015, what? I reckon. Okay. <laughs> you're lying. <coughs> I think you're lying as well. I think I'm lying. I fucking did you with taking it off you, didn't I? I fucking did you with that. Have it right. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, it was so ridiculous. I bought a Christmas decoration two weeks yeah, ago. Such a shit story. He doesn't even learning. like Everton. <laughs> I've been learning waterboarding. <laughs> like water boring because you're stupid yeah, and boring yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Well, it's I do hate time, Everton as well. It's the first time. So Is it? Nearly. That's <laughs> what you said when you kicked your Man United poster. <laughs> <laughs> um, where were we? Oh, viewers, viewers most embarrassing Those story. Moment. Jeez. Yeah, you're gonna join in. Get it right," said your dad during the orgy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bit weird, though, isn't he, Ryan? The way he uh, shakes his parents. Yeah. <laughs> Love from you. Yeah. <sighs> Here we go. Um, I've, I've added a load of these, and I was laughing away because I thought they were great. Are we ready, guys? Yeah. This one is from Kimmy <laughs> Jimmel. <laughs> Great name. Kimmy Jimmel. Yeah. Uh, please keep anonymous. Your name's Kimmy Jimmel. It's not real, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it says official Kimmy Jimmel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was out early for lunch for some reason in year five with just me and my mate. We'll call him Henry. So we were the only two in the playground with a couple of dinner ladies somewhat nearby before the rest of the school came out for lunch. My friend then decides to walk up to a large thick <laughs> thick. Oh, in the middle of a small brick hut in the back corner of the playground. 
<laughs> and starts triumphing it for about three seconds <laughs> because that was the humour at the time, I guess. Uh, still is, it seems. <laughs> Turned around and looked up at the window to see the whole class and teacher watching what we were doing in oh, the window. God. He looked away in embarrassment and I killed over in laughter. <laughs> still occasional, uh, still occasionally bring it up to him to this day, seven years later. We both have the same reaction. Uh, Cheers, keep up. That's good. That's great. Imagine what, what was that teacher doing? Just, just slowly clapping. Just throwing notes at the window. Uh, class dismissed. Everyone's laughing but the teacher. Everyone goes home, the teacher walks up to the pole. We've had this before, you slot. You know you work for me. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Kimmy Jemmel. Uh, we've got a load more, but um, yeah, I'm going to search. Should we draw one more? Yeah, go on. Yeah, okay. one more. Uh, when I was in year six, a girl joined my school that back then I thought was very attractive. So I thought it would be a great idea to sp- <laughs> spit in my hand <laughs> and oh. slick my head oh, back to try no. and run. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't stop doing this. By the end of the lesson, I was impressed with myself oh. as I thought she would have found me irresistible. <laughs> but when I went to the bathroom after the lesson, oh. I realised that my hair was drenched in my oh. spit. Oh. So <laughs> and what a fool I must have made myself. <laughs> And a bit goggy, a bit of phlegm in there as well. Uh, Thank you, Jack. Bit of green phlegm. Uh, we've yeah. all been there. <clears throat> phlegmy, phlegmy. I remember when I tried to walk like Danny Zuko once. What a fucking idiot. I got to try to walk like a dog. Yeah. I remember he could in primary school. So yeah. I wanted to be like him. I did that phase, yeah. I think the I was girl year I five. fancied used to stab me with pencils and um, I just let her do it. <laughs> <laughs> like a year. It wasn't until Heath Ledger did it to me. Finally <laughs> <laughs> came full circle. He introduced himself as Heath. <laughs> My mum was like, oh, she must fancy her. And I was like, oh, I'll tell her to stop then. <laughs> and then every day she's like, prick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> it's time for uh, the Battle of the Behemoths. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's Ryan's crying versus Joe's woes. Ready for it. Whoa. Round two. Ready for it. Last week, Ryan took the dub. He's undefeated in these one on ones. Well, you lost to him in your shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, who wants to go? Uh, Joe, do you want to go first this no. time? No. No, well you are doing, alright? Oh, don't you no, ever no. fucking back talk. I don't like going first. You're going first. No. That was my thing. Right. Good go on, Ryan. Can you uh Meta? Um, McDonald's chicken nuggets, right? Yeah. Bloody lovely. I'm vegetarian, I can't eat them. <laughs> 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 yes! Thank you. Ryan. It's a great one. Ryan. That's why you're number one, man. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, I don't know what's going on. I do, I, do miss, I do miss chicken nuggets as well. He don't yeah, fucking yeah. need a lad in. He can wait for any roll he wants. Yeah. Just have him. Unless he's, unless he's a ham bar. Just eat him. <laughs> any roll he wants, ham bar. Man's got morals. <laughs> morals. Yeah, yeah. Like, really? like, like myself. Like, right. Like my own. I'm Plum. upset that I can't wear hats. Why? <laughs> you, you should. No, you really it makes should. my head look massive. It looks massive anyway, Joe. <laughs> no, no, no. It Why makes you your top button up? Oh, it's always been up since the start of the pod. Yeah, yeah but it sure makes your head like look massive. <laughs> <laughs> if, the, if the stick was massive as well. <laughs> like a chopper chop. Because I don't like it. Chopper <laughs> chops. <laughs> this is great. Oh, the chopper chops. It still looks big. No, it looks better no, now. No. It does look better it. now. You think that this being undone? <laughs> nah, oh, yeah, you look more relaxed. Automatically have a small head You look now. more relaxed. It looks better. You, yeah, you don't want to be relaxed. relaxed. <laughs> <You're on edge. laughs> it looks like air's actually getting to your head now. <laughs> your head it. is changing colour. I can't You're wear hats. From stra- okay, changing okay. from strawberry Which hats Coca-Cola. would you like to wear? I'd like to wear a beanie. I'd like to wear oh, a... You're not wearing a beanie. I'd like to wear like a football cap, whatever the people say. Uh, and now and again, why not a little top hat? Right, it would have to be a big top hat for your fatter. <laughs> uh, I think I think a beanie, cut that. A beanie wouldn't work. <laughs> What's he doing? He just went. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, Ryan, it's actually quite similar. Um, it, it's sunglasses. No, sunglasses don't suit me. No, all. it's because you buy really cheap ones that are wonky anyway. It, sunglasses don't suit me. You'd suit square so, ones because oh, you've got to try triangle shape. Pretty head. much everyone, don't oh, they? I yeah, you've got to get so. the shape that suits your head shape. So you've got like a triangle head. So you need square <laughs> ones. <laughs> triangle head. Triangle head. Triangle head. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's that's like you you get like heart shaped heads and square heads and all yeah. sorts of shaped heads. Egg heads. heads. 
So then if you get a triangle head, I think it's like the square ones. Dickheads. Like, oh, yeah. I've never yeah, seen triangle head. glasses. I'm just oh, saying, you know. Glasses. You want to try this time? Uh, Joe's getting the point there, okay? Because you just latched onto whatever he says, mate. It's cost uh, anyway. Fair enough. Desperation. It wasn't. Final uh, one each, Cam. It's come down to 1 1. I don't like when the hot water tap is too hot. Chill it out, mate. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm aware of hot water here. Yeah. When you try and wash your hands, yeah. you put soap on. Wah, fucking hell. What about the cold? And then you try and put the cold <laughs> on as well. So if you've got two separate taps, you, you're dancing between two. Do you know what annoys me is when the hot tap goes like. <laughs> And it goes back up straight away. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. When you push, toys, what yeah. annoys me is when you're trying to wash your hands and you remember you, you're supposed to be impersonating Michael Jackson. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just with a <the> massive howl. <laughs> He did wear hats. <laughs> forgot to take your he glove off. wore a hat. <laughs> That's what I mean. All oh, right. Okay. Hot top. <laughs> this is. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Joe's. Joe's yeah, probably probably close to scoring a point here. <laughs> um, this is gonna be Ryan's first defeat. Find out next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, Ryan. People that don't drink after a cheers. So you know when you have cheers. Yeah. Some people just put it down straight away. <sighs> Who's yeah. ever done that? I've done Some it. people do it. Have you? People do it all the time. Empty glass. People do it all the time. People, do all so the time. people, oh. people, do. people just, uh, you know, some somebody will cheers at a random point. I'm yeah. thinking I've been drinking anyway. Piss off. That'll be one of them where now you've mentioned it, I'll notice it. No, I won't. Yeah. I know. Before I'd never time. have. Uh, mm. Why does it bother you? Yeah. I don't know because it's like it's like it's not finished. It's like you're not really cheersing me. Well, they will drink later. Just bit rude. Control isn't it? people's cheers. lives, aren't you? It's more just being part know. of the group, you know. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. It's like cheers going now. shaking someone's hand. No, no, it's alright. No, cheers. Me new cheers. If I said I've, cheers I've now, I've not got uh, anything. Cam, I'm leaning towards Joe for this one. I don't know about you. Hot, hot taps. Yeah, I, that literally happened to me like half an hour ago. So yeah, I'm dead. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> You're so shit, mate. Yeah. Well. If you'd have physically Feels reacted great, to all those stimuli with with more of this, you'd have ran away with that. Really? You okay. blew a really right, get, big lead yeah. at the start yeah. there. What? Get out, you loser. Do I have to? Yep. Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking loser. Yeah. Go on. God, I've really embarrassed myself now. There yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How can this get worse? <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, oh God! Who's this? Let's see if this strange. Hello. What's happened? Hey there. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> How we doing? I'm okay, thank really you. Well. Who are you? Do you wow. My name's Barney Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really. <laughs> yep, my name's Ronnie Bottom. Ronnie Bottom. <laughs> Here for one night only, one day only. Right. Which is it? <laughs> Tuesday. Hey, one one, night. one <laughs> minute only if you can't fucking get a move on. <laughs> one night only. <laughs> oh. Ronnie Bottom. Uh, Ronnie Bottom, yeah. mate. Here yeah. all day. Is it? Oh, so not. Uh, <laughs> Ronnie, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> to convince, I'm here. I'm here to convince Cam. <laughs> you can't just go rude and go and do an English accent. I don't believe. I don't know you that well, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bottom. Yeah, Ronnie, it's so very familiar. What you're supposed to. Where's that voice from? I'm here. I'm here to convince Cam to stop telling l- long and boring stories. Prescott nonce, we call him. Wow. <laughs> Shimona. Wow. wow. Takes out to no one, Ronnie. Wow. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, oh. I see you've got a. Is that a sheriff's hat, police hat? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, are you are you part of the police force? Um, I'm part of a, a special group called <laughs> Smooth Criminal Squad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, it's Billy Jean on the force. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So, sorry, so you're what are we the talking podcast about? Podcast police. Podcast police. Yep, I'm here to s- stop you from telling shit stories. Wow. Well, the problem is, Ronnie, not Boring every story can be a thriller. Yeah, that's oh. very true. That's very true. <laughs> that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, mate. <laughs> I 
I've been watching a lot of stories of yours. <laughs> yeah. And they're just so boring. Oh, God. I would rather listen to this man here. That says really? a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, not him. Not him. <laughs> no, actually, I take that back. But they are pretty boring. Yeah. Uh, go on, go on, beat it, Joe. And to come. I was wondering if we could do some maybe some exercises, uh, some games we could play. It, it's a shame Max is because he fucking loves you know Jim Shark and exercises, mate. Yeah, yeah. Too much. Woo-hoo. Uh, okay, yeah, you fire away, help me out. So, um, what, what did you do? This, what did you have for breakfast? Cornflakes, cornflakes, <laughs> um, oh, orange. Now that's I'm, pretty boring. Yeah, right? yeah. Boring. Spice, how would you spice it up? If it was me. I'd maybe put, you know, sugar in there. Can I? Can I ask? <laughs> could I ask a question, please? Sugar's uh, not a spice. Ronnie Bottom. Mm-hmm. If if something was really boring, uh, how would you make it interesting? I would <laughs> try to uh, just maybe lie, make the story sound better. Okay, do that then. So, what do you have for breakfast, <laughs> Ronnie? So. <laughs> So I was, what did you have for breakfast, Ronnie? Uh, I had. <laughs> I was a trek bar. What? A trek bar. <laughs> That's exciting. Because what I actually had was cocoa pops and milk. But a trek bar is more exciting. I think because cocoa it's pops got... is more What's interesting. What's a trek bar? Though? Fuck off. Fuck off. Get out. You fuck off. You go for a trek. Yeah. I've seen it to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going about comes long and boring stories. Yeah, so back to that. Boring. It's story. not that you're not funny, because oh, you're, right. you're a very funny man. Oh, thanks. Um, it's just some of these stories are yeah, yeah. terrible, really long. Uh-huh. How many minutes should I try and keep them to? You want to try and keep it to one minute, one minute thirty. I was thinking more like a Jackson Five. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think he's been very entertaining. I? I'd say he's been the most entertaining for the past five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Oh. Chicken moan. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, why don't we delve into your life, Ronnie Bottom? Yeah, please. What makes you? Uh, what makes you part of the? Uh, you know, the podcast police. Podcast of what makes me part of the podcast? But I, I listen to a lot of podcasts with a lot of friends, and but we listen what a lot. What are your friends called? Like a lot. What are your friends? Uh, your friends? Jermaine. Ready, bum. You could do a podcast about four people with four different accents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we watch. Your audition for the film Split. We, <laughs> <laughs> we listen to podcasts all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> like millions, millions oh, of times. Sorry, we make up. It's so. so <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> like I said, we we watch, listen to loads of podcasts all the time. Yeah, you've said that. And yeah, yeah. Is this, that Michael Jackson's cat? This, this, big, this well, this. Oh wow! It's just some well, sort of with all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, thank you very especially much. Especially Cam, just the long stories. That's all. Right. Long, long stories. That's why I'm here. I'm just here to have a good time and sort you out. So, what is your what is your three main bits of advice to help Cam with the stories? Um, just keep it short, right? Yeah, if, yeah. if you think it's funny, it's probably not. Okay. So just keep it short. Just by, just by being told you're a funny man several Two, times. Listen to what Stephen says. Oh, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. Finally, finally. He, he finally drives this power. ship, sails the ship. Yeah, yeah. sinking. Yeah. Um, Ronnie, yeah. I I love your outfit. You know. Yeah, you're welcome, babe. What are you wearing on your legs? Um, Nothing. Just, yeah. Are they not? Are they not Billy Jeans? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, since you've been here, Cam's made a lot of jokes and yeah. uh, sort of sat there like a plum. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go now. Okay, In fine, it. whatever. Gonna... I've already made the beat it joke, so I can't do that again. <laughs> uh, going to go get with some Liberian girl. Liberian girl? Oh, f- Liberian girl? <laughs> Li- Liberi- Liberian? Liberian? <laughs> 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 Bye, oh, Ronnie. Oh, uh, Bye, Jim. Fucking hell. I saw Jim Shark play this one the big one. <laughs> so, oh, oh, good. Sorry, uh, sorry about that, guys. Interesting Really chap. need to lock the door in future. Yeah. Just, yeah, you know, get What's something in front of it? It's time for the second instalment of, of the Green Party. Hammy Wammy G tells you how it's going to be. Hey. <laughs> 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 totally calling Cammy Whammy. 
<laughs> Good yeah. night, yeah, yeah. Wham, wham, wham. Top 10 moment. <laughs> Order! 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 Thank you, everyone. We should do that in TGI. (laughs) (laughs) Stop building those fucking sand dogs! Order! (laughs) Stop breaking them down with your ball sack. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Thank you so much, everyone who's sent me your uh, policies. (laughs) <laughs> they're mostly all fucking <laughs> fucking mental <laughs> so uh, Carlos Carlos Camish fake name fake great name. friend of the podcast they say my policy would be every time someone passes their driving test someone else should have their license taken off them oh that's interesting I but think why? that's a bloody good idea that so Carlos there's, so there's not you know think of the congestion yeah, yeah. Although, yeah, yeah. although if if Tom passes, I'm not going to give him my license. Who's, who gets chosen at random? Well, that's the thing. So I think it. they should take it off old folk. Yeah. yeah, that'd be that'd be the most sensible way. What if it's an old person who lives out in the country and you know they're by themselves? The walk will do them some good. Yeah. Anyway, I think it'd be more fun if every time someone passes a driving test, it randomly selects someone else and they have to have a race, and whoever wins the race, they get the license. Oh, nice. So oh. you could get a letter to the post saying you have to have a you have to have a race around. I don't know a track. Like Squid Games, but where is the race? The thing it, and just, whoever loses, they they lose the license. My car's so an automatic, so it's easier for me. I just have to put up my foot. Yeah, but you'd have just passed your test. You'd be against someone with experience and you know technical ability. Shit, proper techers. Did you pass first time, Joe? Yes. Well done. I reckon my car could beat Joe's car though. I reckon race. your car would beat my car. I don't think so, man. It's very, it's very quick to thirty, and then after that, it stops. Happy, nah, you'd be surprised. Right. Okay. So yeah. what we passing this one? Passing Carlos's law? Um, no, no. Shit, no. Shit rule. You no, think it's shit? So you have, you have to have a race. You won't pass your test. Know, yeah, then but then you, take you know, it away from you. Yeah, but then you have to have a race, so you know if you're being chased or something, you'd be, Max you'd be rapid. Yeah. That'd be an Andy against the world against the Russians. Go on, Max. It's very against poor people who can't afford to hire cars. Yeah, and I thought you were. Oh like yeah. That. yeah, yeah. Good fucking. Like <laughs> good fucking. <laughs> the green bar is really checking. Yeah, I know. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm vote for you. Diesel engines. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck it. Fuck him. If I had, if I knew I had the ability to outrun all of them all the time, I'd insult them all the fucking time. Uh, Jump past him. Chuck shit at them, they run after me. Come back here, come back, <laughs> fucking. Give him one of them. You've got the, you've got the gavel. You've right, got the power. Past. Congratulations, Carlos. Yeah, but because Jesus. that's past, we need to lose one from the previous. <laughs> no joke there. I like, it, I like it. Pedro has got a quick one saying, a day of the week where restaurants, supermarkets, wherever, only sell vegetarian, vegan food, like Taco Tuesday, but nationwide. He says he's not British, so I think he just wants this to happen to punish all of us. I think that's a terrible idea. Well, Meat Free Mondays idea. is Paul McCartney's yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Have you seen the video? Isn't it, is it Stella McCartney? Is it? No, have you seen the Paul, Paul McCartney Paul one? McCartney where he stands and goes, MeatFreeMondays.com. You can do it right now, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> and Ringo in the back with the triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, meetfreemondays.com, meetfreemondays.com. Meet I don't think it's a bad idea. Because then the meat, it was like, I have to eat something. Yeah. And they got but then, then if it's a bad. If you ever see, like, if there's any good vegan food, it sells out instantly because, uh, you know, greedy vegans, as they're known. Mm. But like, it's, like a, it's like, oh, I need this. And they'll just take it. So well, then if the everywhere chaos. was selling all that clobber, yeah. yeah. See, I'd give it a try. I think legally, if I had to give it a try, or I'd starve. You'd starve the day, yeah. I would, but at the same time, it's just as easy for me to freeze a steak on a Monday and defrost it on a Tuesday. <laughs> so what a stupid idea, Pedro. Boo, boo, boo that Pedro. Boo, Pedro. Boo that Pedro. The worst part about Pedro's one, the bit that got me was he wants us to do it. And you don't fucking live in this country. Right. Uh, you know. Well done. But if well you want to pass your driving test, you got to win a race. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. It's never put it to the max. Oh, put it to the max. To, to the max. Put it to the max. And it's in the corner of the room. Hello, all. Lion Rocket. 
<laughs> my father, the fuck that he is. <laughs> That's what we in the industry call the Dave disease. He can he read or write, and up till now it's been fine and dandy. And we just lock him in the bike shed to potter around all day until his nightly toilet break. Turns out, however, he's learned to read and write thanks to some <laughs> shit videos online. Now wants to mingle with us learned folk in the big house. I recently started a relationship with his wife. <laughs> So I really don't want to allow him in. Can you help me keep him in there? Thanks. <laughs> Great question. Thank this is you. like a big room. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lion. Um, it's it's a great, great predicament he's got himself in there. Yeah. Um, so he's... Yeah. He's, he's, say, um, he's got enough with his wife. Dad. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got so, enough with his wife. So that's a tricky situation, isn't it? It's, 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 this guy's wife, is that also <laughs> is... Um, his his mum is it? I don't want to assume things. It, it seems that Could way on step, paper. Step mums, maybe yeah. Um, so his dad has now learnt to read and write. Wasn't well to him for yeah, a start, well you know. Yeah. That's, that deserves some congratulations. However, in the meantime, uh, Lion Rock has been a <laughs> well. Rocking his rocking his partner. I think what they all what they could do is uh, stick a sign up. Yeah. Saying uh, this way to the house, but actually turn it the other way. Because oh, nice. the dad can now read and write. He's just going to go back to his shed. Yeah. Very think, good. Oh, I don't get out. Oh. They'll, yeah, they'll yeah. buy you a few days at least. Yeah, yeah. By, the... oh, by, by Lion Rock, a few days at least. Yeah. 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 I yeah. think I think the uh, the main issue here is, you know, the intercourse with the mother, it's, it's disgraceful. It's pretty bad. It's sinful is what it is. Yeah. It's bad on the mother's part pretty, as well. Pretty, is she? That's pretty, though. Really it's pretty. Oh. How do you know that? I don't know that. I was going to say pretty, you know, awful Tell. story. It is, really. I mean, Some you guy shagging his mum. The mom. poor dad, who is, is possibly brain dead, you know, absolute <laughs> sons in the shed. Well, if he's got Dave disease, that's yeah. not, it's not such a leap, yeah. Yeah. Um, pro- I'd rather be brain dead, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Sorry we couldn't really help you, Lion. Uh, Sorry, it's Lion. just a step too far for us. I've lived quite a tame life, it seems. Yeah. God. Imagine. I don't want to imagine. Oh, I don't want to imagine. Pretty weird you'd suggest you do that. Yeah. It's the final question. Uh, would you rather die right here and now or have to wipe Joe McGrath's bottom every time he makes a poopy? Kill me. Oh, God. Kill Three me. times a day. Minimum. Kill me. Really? Kill me. Nah, probably twice. Probably one in the morning, one in the evening. Kill me stone dead. How do I die? You, you said you used to shit yourself a lot. Yeah, just because I didn't realise what I was allergic to. So I'd have to wipe his bum then? Yeah. On days out, I'd have to be wiping him. <coughs> I guess you'd get Stay used out. to it. Yeah, you'd have to work around it. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd rather live, obviously. I could oh. eat healthier. Yeah. If I knew you had to wipe my bottom, I probably would eat healthier. Could I? Could I live? It's nice of you. <laughs> and kill Joe. Can I have, can I have some sweet corn? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can kill Joe, can't I? Can you? Whilst I'm having a poo, just stab him with the bum. I just uh, live and kill you. Mm. It's my heaven. But he would die. He would shit himself when he dies. So there would be one last one. Yeah, that's one a last one. Last one. That's gonna be a big one as well. <laughs> Out of respect, to you, I'd do it. Get rid of all the yeah. oots and. Oots. What would you want to live? Would you want to live knowing? Uh, I'd do it for about six months. And then what? <laughs> I'd eat cleaner as well. No, Joe, Joe would you rather die right now or learn to wipe your own ass? Hmm. <laughs> I'd, 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 you know, got a good technique. Yeah. <laughs> your dad's tongue. <laughs> I've been telling you, it's a lot easier if you use toilet paper. <laughs> I just I just go around on all fours and say, book, go on, sniff it. Uh, <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> I eat lots of peanut butter. <laughs> uh, oh, Daddy's laid a uh, pedigree uh, jump. Ah! Where's the bags book? Pick it up. <laughs> Go on, please. I fouled myself. The, the settle can't carry on a minute. The settle will be back on. Enjoy your spuds. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> I'd rather die. <laughs> Fair enough. I'd rather die. I would have to kill you off, though. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Imagine if I killed him and then the detectives came around and said we got some leads and he just shot back up. He said we got him. we've got some leads and it's Joe's cupboards. <laughs> Leather ones, studded Swans. ones. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring the canine unit in. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'd say we've collared him, but he already took care of that himself. <laughs> 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 oh. 
<laughs> what a day. I feel abused. Do you remember Dog's Thrust? <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> death of a thousand cuts, isn't it? <laughs> Boy, yeah. Boy, oh god! <laughs> Why do you shag dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I do. <laughs> oh, so I had to say something. <laughs> oh. We don't know. It was a bit rough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd uh, I'd wipe Joe's bum. Yeah, I'd, I would as well. Yeah. Well, what, what's Joe's alternative? Bum. Wipe my bum. Yeah, deal. That was very quick. For that. <laughs> he didn't give you any other option. He just demand. He made a demand wipe of my you, bum. and you just <laughs> wipe, wipe you my just bum. Said, yeah, deal. <laughs> I'll do that. Max's first time producing the book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wipe my bum. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the Stephen Tries oh, podcast. Woo. I've been joined by <gasps> Ryan Locke. Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Joe McGrath Three. and Cameron Green. Three. Thank you. Thanks Over so in the much. corner, we have had Max Smith. Way, Max Smith. Woo. No, I, I think I had the best Thank joke you. of the podcast. <laughs> oh, well. Um, stay safe, stay humble, and chat. Oh, you oh, <laughs> <it's laughs> <a> fucking <laughs> nuisance. Oh, you got you. You got you.